Hi, I'm Fede Alvarez, director of Alien Ramos. Make sure to watch it in IMAX on August 16. The following are some of my favorite scenes from the Alien movies. I think the first one that comes to mind always is the first kill of the Xenomorph on Ridley's original Alien movie. What's brilliant about it, obviously, is that it's the first time that the creature was presented to the world. And to me, as a, as a kid watching that movie, I remember having trying to figure out what that thing was, and it literally feels like part of the spaceship. <laughs> but what makes it even more brilliant, I think, is the fact that the kill itself, I mean, you see the shot and the, the inner mouth coming out. You don't have no idea what you're looking at. But the best part is the genius of Ridley Scott is he, he decides to, instead of staying on the kill, he cuts to the face of the cat. This son of a bitch is huge. It's a big lesson that we apply in this movie as well to, to when we had restrictions based on what it was the reason, technically budget or whatever it was for a particular moment, sometimes the best choice is to cut to the cat, is to cut to someone else's perspective or cut away or not actually showing it because the horror usually is always in the audience's mind is where the horror truly is. What you imagine is happening is, is always sometimes worse. Movement, signal's clean. Range 20 meters. They found a way in. One of my favorite moments on Aliens, when the group together, the Marines, Ripley and Newt, are trying to get away from the creatures. They lock themselves in a room, and the tracker is showing that they're getting closer and closer and closer, and the beeping sound gets more intense and more high pitch. 12 meters. 11. 10. It's the genius of James Cameron to know that just the beeping getting more high pitch and high pitch and high pitch will drive you nuts knowing they're getting closer. Five meters, man. Four. What the hell? And it gets to a point that it's supposed to be inside the room and they're not there. And like every best twist on every story, what happens next is what you should have seen happening. That the fact that they were not in front of you didn't mean they were not close to you. That's a great moment where they pick over the ceiling and they see all the creatures are scrawling their way to the room. It's a crucial part of something you learn from that scene. That you have to play against expectations. You have to surprise the audience as much as you can, right? One of my favorites is Aliens, when Bishop, played by Lance Hen Henriksen, gets inside this little tube and they cut it out with a blowtorch. Good luck. See you soon. He gets inside, you can't even believe how he fits in there. And then they seal it back up with him inside, and he's just like army crawling inside that tube, and you're like, God damn, it's like a, any claustrophobic person nightmare. <laughs> which obviously is inspired by the first film. Oh God, it's moving right towards you. When, you know, when the captain dies. <laughs> it started all. Sound design is a massive part of this franchise as well. If you look at Alien and Aliens, there's a lot of music in them. It's all the atmosphere created by the sound design of the ship. And we do the same here. We have obviously an incredible score, and, but in order to be effective, like James Horner's score of, of, of Goldsmith's score, you gotta commit at the time when people forgot there was music in the movie and then boom, the music blasts and it just really hits home. Just stay still. One part was obviously to nail the style and nail the sound of it was to not only recreate, but even go and find original tapes for the original movies and use those same tapes on our movie for the sounds of the ship, the sounds of space, you know. The space gives me the creeps. We really went above and beyond to get the original sounds from the original film. You ready to get wet, partner? Yeah. On Alien Resurrection, there's a moment that is actually one of the most terrifying moments of that movie. It's when the when you see the xenomorphs swimming underwater for the first time. How helpless the rest of the crew was there, like when they just have to get out of the water. Either they're gonna drown or they're gonna get get in by a xenomorph. Such a brilliant concept. 
And that's probably what inspired, in some degree, the, the, the cryo chamber scene to say, okay, we've seen xenomorphs on the water, have we seen face huggers on the water? We came up with this idea of like filling the room with a couple of feet of water and putting the face huggers there, which, you know, obviously create a very terrifying experience for the characters. <laughs> That was definitely a good way of sometimes a scene that is quite different, but it still inspires you to do a new version of it. Alien Romulus hits theaters on August 16th. Face your fears in IMAX. For everything else, Alien Romulus, keep it locked to IGN.